You know, that was a really overly dramatic way to tell us you could get fired. Sorry, I've been down here by myself for kind of a while. Now just who are you exactly? My name is Sam. I work here. Hey, my name is Sam too. No, it's not. Oh yeah? Well, that's the name written on my underwear. So you're the son of a bitch that took all my underwear. I've been going commando for the last three months. Awesome. I want to go commando. Let's blow some stuff up and shoot some villagers. Not that kind of commando, Griggs. His name isn't Griggs. Huh. And I suppose my name isn't Dr. Cornelius Chalmers Esquire. The third. No, it isn't Seamus McMurph Patrick. Seamus? I'm Irish? Of course. That explains this sweater vest. Oh, come on. This sweater vest isn't made of whiskey and potatoes. Hey, now. Oh, thank you. It's not the son of me people with your blarney. Oh, blimey. Tis the old country having its way with me tongue. Ugh. Actually, none of you ninnies got your names right. Except for Nikki. Although her name's actually pronounced Nick K. Well, just who are we then? And what are we doing here? Both good questions, Officer Balthazar and Mr. Smiggleton. I'm not taking Smiggleton. You see, about a hundred years ago, the global entertainment industry ran completely out of ideas. I saw that movie. It was fantastic. No, you didn't, you moron. So we built a time machine to snatch people out of the past. I remember that one. It was awesome. No, you don't. Back when everyone was still watching good TV shows and movies. And that explosions and a girl in a miniskirt. Every movie's got that. We figured if we kept you isolated and watched everything you did. Hey, another movie title. God, somebody shut this guy up. We might be able to come up with some kind of new entertainment programming. The first one stunk, but the sequel was hilarious. All right, I'm gonna have to murder him now. Based on your actions and conversations. You mean like a reality show? No, but that's a really good idea. I can't believe we didn't think of that. You should be a writer, or maybe just a studio executive. But I wanted to be the studio executive. So, we were all kidnapped. And we erased your memories. We thought it would make your ideas fresh and original. Hmm, did it work? Not so much, no. What about all that weird stuff that happened? And the mysterious voice thing? That was me! Oh, oh, I have a voice modulator. You make me sound more impressive! Pretty sweet, right? And Catherine? She was working with me on the inside, trying to jazz things up. Tough job. Yeah, you guys are hella boring. You're gonna pay for this! Hey, don't blame me. I just work here. Look, it's true, everyone. He has a t-shirt. Damn it! We well, at least have to send us back to wherever we came from. Okay, no problem. Great. I can't wait to get back to the old country and choke me a leprechaun. Hmm. Choking a leprechaun. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty good. I want to go with him. Okay, let me just boot up the old time machine here. Just analyzing temporal vortices, re-re-re-reticulating remembering routine, contemplating time-space continuum, loading anti-paradox engine, and immemorializing memory matrices. Okay, we're good to go. No. I'm afraid that's it no possible. Oh crap, that can't be good. <clears throat> I mean... Oh crap, that can't be good. I love that wacky voice, fantastic. Hey, thanks. It's a lot of fun at parties. I also use it for the outgoing message on my voicemail. When you hear the message, please leave a beep. Oops, I said that wrong. How do you restart this thing? Does the blinking light mean it's recording? I did press seven. Somebody help me out here. Oh, son of a. Ever.